Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red, that hardcore questing mod pack from Gideon Seymour. It's not quite so much hardcore at the moment since I seem to have quite a reasonable size island and haven't died for a while. Well, only once when I was deliberately died. Now, today what I'd like to do is to try to create a tamed owl. Now, there's no recipe in the book for tamed owls, but we need to do a few things first. So let's have a look what I've got in my box here. Yes, I've got some chalk. I need some chalk. I need some more chalk, actually. I have not got enough. Now, the recipe for the chalk here, let's go, let's look on here, because this is part of it. So the recipe for this is two gypsum wood ash. Now, wood ash is simply a byproduct of smelting a tree. In this particular case, it's any tree, I think. Is smelting it okay yes cooking anything at all witch's oven is probably the best one because then you also get a chance of a different byproduct when you're doing it in the witch's oven in this case it was no sapling will give you exhale of the horned one or foul fumes and you can also sometimes get with ruined saplings you get whiff magic so that's what we do with that one We've got plenty of those and gypsum the recipe for gypsum is made by foul fumes plus quicklime. Quicklime is simply shape crafting wood ash. That's fairly straightforward. Let's go back to where we want to be and get the recipe for this again. And I should have everything I need. Got two gypsums, one tier of the goddess. That's actually a little bit more complicated. Let's have a look at the recipe for tier of the goddess first. So that was a lapis lazuli and the breath of the goddess. And the byproducts of that are foul fumes with a magic and tear of the goddess, which is what we wanted. And the recipe for this is simply a birch sapling in the witch's oven. So now we've got some more chalk. I need all of these chalk. Well, I don't need all of these chalks. And here. Okay, what we need to do is now perform some circle magic. Now there is a book that, I have got the book with me. That's a good question actually, I'm not sure what I've done with it. it. Might well be in this bookshelf, let's have a look. That's brews and infusions. It might be in the chest of course. It's not in there. This is an obsidian chest that's so fairly well protected. It's not in there either. What have I done with that Bruce and Infusions book? Oh, I do love it when I lose something. Tell you what, I'll be back in a second. I should go and find the book or make another one. Until then, bye for now. Well, would you believe it? I couldn't find it. So let's make another one. So it's a circle magic book. And the recipe is fairly straightforward. We need one book. I did get prepared a little bit. One whiff of magic. One feather. One insect. And one belladonna. And now we have our circle magic book. And so. So now what we need to do is we would like to get some attuned stones. I've got here, I've got five attuned stones. I'm going to make three charged attuned stones, hopefully. I've got probably too much stuff in me at the moment, but let's have a look. So we want the right of charging. So this is one, this is just draw so it tells you about the books. Activate with the heart glyph. Basically it means you right click. Okay, so we want this one pulls it into talisman. We'll do that afterwards. Right of binding, we need the right of charging. 
here we go and this is the charges in the tune stone this is the one we want so we've got to create 11 by 11 and a 7 by 7 layout so to speak so let's do that first what I've laid down here is a little pattern and the idea is we only need two chalks in this particular case we need a golden chalk and a white chalk so the middle block here is where we put a golden marker so that's the middle and then from there we need to go out I'll move this out of the way just in case I tr get tended to click it again we need to go seven so that's the basically becomes three out here and if we look at the book again quickly you'll see there's three in the line and then a diagonal okay so three in the line do the same thing here three and I've got this right it'd be a simple diagonal there What it did with the white blocks is to mark out a 15 by 15 because that's the maximum one we want. Torch in the way, move that out of the way. Actually, that doesn't look right. One, two, three. That's the one. I'll take that one away. You lose it when you, if you if you misclick it by the way so three is there and three is here move the torches away we don't want the torches really in the circles we could put them outside the circles well that's really much what i'm doing sometimes so it's oh maybe i need to press f7 as well to be absolutely sure okay so that's the 7x7 seven seven one and now we need to do the 11x11 11 11. that's just two blocks outside this if I'm not mistaken and then we have a look at the book again so we need a 5 across so we'll set up a 5 across oops wrong book wrong item so that would be 3 5 do the same on this side And then we should be able to join these two up diagonally like that. That's good. If you look at that saves chalk if you've got it wrong. So you've got five across and then two in the middle. Two going diagonally. So this time we need to do the five across here. Well that's the basically now we've got the five across. Do the same thing here. And the same thing here. Another torch in the way, of course, as usual. Ah, so you can see the thing. Let's put that torch back over here. It should go across. And one more white one over here. You'll see it also uses up chalk quite quickly, so you've got to be careful. That was three, four, five, one, two. So that should be the pattern. Let's do this one as well. I missed that one. And all I need to do is put a torch outside the 11 by 11 blocks. And then everything should be lit up well enough. Let's just move this out of the way. It just reaches. And that same applies for the 15 by 15 block. Now, so let's have a look at our recipe again. This is where it gets a bit tricky. We need to get all those ingredients ready. So we need a tune stone glowstone dusk redstone wood ash and quick lime okay so i'm going to do three so we need three of each with a bit of luck i've got those already in this chest here yes i've got them but i've got no space but i don't need the chalk so let's put the chalks away in here okay now let's take so we needed five items let's just move stuff out of the way a bit so we needed a tune stones that was the first item we needed three redstone if I remember rightly three glowstone the order you 
put these in doesn't seem to matter I've actually got six I shall put nine what else do we need double check because I can't remember so wood ash and quick lime we've got plenty of wood ash and plenty of quick lime that's quick lime and wood ash is here so those are the five items that we need okay let's go and do this so I've got everything right that is we shall soon see you have to get near enough and just press Q as usual it's a bit tricky roll across and I've got my sigil on again thank you sigil and one turn it off I'm in the right place anyway so that's no big deal oops that was too far See what, let's pick it up again maybe just here is good yes and then right click it get out of the way a bit you watch what happens takes the items returns back a charged a tombstone and we do that again I'm going to do that three times now I don't think you can do multiples I've never tried it mind you I must be honest with you not quite in there but it shouldn't yep and there we go second one and then the last one right in the centre this time and now we have three charged tune stones what I'm now going to do is to capture this layout because it takes quite a while to lay these out and what you do to do that is you put in one talisman here and one glowstone and now the recipe for talisman I'll just look at it in a second so to get that done and then right click and everything disappears hopefully and goes into this talisman so now you can see it's got small ritual medium ritual and here we've got the circle talisman. The recipe for that was one diamond, four nugget, gold nuggets, and four gold ingots. Reasonably expensive, but not, but not too bad. So, why do we need that? We should also make another attuned stone. Now, the recipe for that is one, I've got two here put those three there sort that a bit and maybe we can see them together so we need one diamond one bucket of lava and one whiff of magic I think is the recipe and it's just straightforward crafting so let's get a bucket of lava you get your bucket back by the way we will double check the recipe in a second just to make sure it is magic with magic and what well, if you don't I got it wrong, I don't do anything, so it's no big deal. So, this is the one. Yes, it is a whiff of magic diamond and a bucket of lava. So that's fairly straightforward. And I have another tune stone and get my bucket back again which we shall go and put back in this chest because I don't want to carry it around all over the place I probably could put one in the golden bag of holding but you never know now what I should do of course is to mark the middle of that again but I probably I should have done that at the beginning here oh, need a torch on top of it, that's good That 
looks about right. So, the next thing we need to do is to make a critter snare. And to make a critter snare, you basically need a cobweb over some water, and we need to capture a dombey. That's why I've got, in fact, what we could do with these is to put these safely away in this chest over here. Even though there's probably not enough space in this chest at the moment, there's some junk in there that I don't really want. So let's put that one and that one up there, and what else do I want to put it put in here? This one, I think. Yes. Okay. So we need to go and capture a zombie. Now this is why I built this particular thing. Where's my um oh yes, I know where they are. I need a safari net reusable. That's the best one anyway. And that looks to me like that's a zombie or a skeleton jumping up and down. Angry zombie, that'll do just fine. Got him. Of course there's I don't want that either. So now I've got an angry zombie captured in the safari net. Actually that looks a bit strange colour. No, it's okay. We also need four alder saplings. I've been chopping down trees here because another ingredient we needed was an ent an ent stick. So I need four alder saplings. Hopefully they don't grow up, so I'll take a couple spare just in case they do. And we need a cobweb. Now what we also need is, let's have a look if I've got it on me, I think I probably have, is this, a mutating sprig. Now the recipe for this is this particular one in this, in this version of the game. It does change. So we need an ent twig. And the only way you can get an ent twig is by killing an ent. Now to kill an ent you basically have to chop down lots of trees of the witchery type and hopefully it appears. In fact you can hear it you'll make a little pingy type noise and you'll get this ent twig. So the oh the mu mutardus extremis is actually fairly straightforward as well. That's just normal mutardus around another wart. And that gives you eight so basically one for one and with that you can then create other things so hopefully it'll work so let's place down first what I will do first of all is to turn off this signal another one of those I've had running for a while ah yes thank you not what I want to do at all but I mind okay so now we put down here these so put these in the corner to put the and this has to be placed on a block of still water here's the still water and one cobweb so all we then do is to put the angry zombie in the into the get out of the way of course while he sinks down a bit and then you have to hit the cobweb with this mutating stick let's just see if we can do that right got it and then he's mutated now to critter snares and what we use these critter snares for I shall show you next. I haven't got my this one. On. Turn it on. Right, I've got four. And it's very similar with this one as well. Now let me show you how I did that. First of all, we need a cobweb. Now I have, the cobwebs in this game are made on the alchemy chemistry set. All you need is five. I'll show you. Let's do that as an example. So we need five string per cobweb and all you do is you place a string in each one of the so places take that out of the way and wait and you'll see in a second we get a cobweb there we go now to place the cobweb down of course being minecraft it's got some special properties and that means you can place things down and then remove what you've you placed them with so for example here I want to place the cobweb over this water. It's just a, a straightforward. I use my angel block, put my angel block down here, take my cobweb, place my cobweb down here, and then it's over water, pick up the pick up the angel block, and that's it. 
same with the chest here so this time I'm going to get some graspers right clicking that again so those were just tall grass tall grass is just simply grass that you chop down with um, shears Let me pick up these and we have these special special flowers now you'll notice I built a new little mob spawner this is really a small one it's basically it's got a three by three area some glass here in the front so you can see inside and some co uh, conveyor belts to move things around a bit at the top here I did something different I basically put one block down and then beside it I put another layer so basically this is just one block high so normal mobs can't spawn here but what does spawn here is bats so let's take my critter snares here and you'll notice they make a nice little squeaky noise when they've been caught put those down and wait a few seconds that one's been you see this one's now caught and it makes this high pitched squeak take those two put down two more we go another one got and then we need the last one we need four is a good number to have because that will make four tamed well four owls there we go right now I've got them four but what we also need of course is some meat the owls eat meat to tame an owl we need meat and the best meat is pigs see the beef or pigs I made this area a little bit bigger so I've got a few more animals let's take um, I'll use this sword because it's the most effective one I'll use some carrots I haven't got very many carrots with me actually probably bad decision never mind we can anyway breed these breed these two here and then go and slaughter another one I mean, that gave me five pork chops that gave me nine that's reasonable so we've got nine pork chops and we shall have four tamed owls so it may be one owl but hopefully it's one there's some tall grass here let's just demonstrate that as well oh, I've still looked those with me I didn't really need that if I shear those you get tall grass like that let's put in the grass down here and that's ready for the next graspers good name really isn't it so let's just dump this stuff back in here that I don't want the whole purpose of doing this is to try and get a familiar in fact we've got everything we need now to do this next one see I built a get that out of the way I've got another egg terrific oh, I think I've just broken the egg even better so what we do is we take our four critters with bats and snared inside them and put them down in the middle the big problem with the yeah try again a walk I suppose I'm oh, caught in the cobweb <laughs> right try that and then in the corners we put the graspers where have they gone to I can't see them That's strange That's very strange. Did I put those down somewhere? Or I lost them. Hmm. That is weird. Anyway, we'll quickly do that again. Let's just take the grass on, gra grass on here. Get some grass. Let's get those shears back again. Tell me I'm not imagining that because it is weird. Huh? Maybe I've done something. I can't 
imagine I'm putting them down somewhere because we need a chest. I should have some chests in here actually. I put the graspers in here. No. I did some fishing. I do need a charged stone and I do need three mutatis. Three bones, I don't want those. I don't want the flower really. Let's get rid of those like that. What I wanted was a chest, wasn't it? Let's look if I've got a chest in here. Yes, I've got two, that's good. I'm very puzzled by that, I must be honest with you. Did I take, put all the grass away? Yes, I did, didn't I? Tell you what. Let's put this alders up here and take one of the grasses. Oh, I have got some wispy cotton. I can plant that as well to help improve the altar. So the same thing again. Don't need that. I just need this angel block. Let's put the angel block down here. Remove the angel block. Put some of the grass down here. Get the mut mutating sprig. Right click the bot. And we got that. Move these out of the way. See, I did have these in my inventory. I'm sure they didn't disappear by themselves. All oh, these lovely poor old bats, they love the make a really weird noise. I'm caught in the cobweb again. Right. I did actually build this bigger last time, so Right again, let's put that down in that corner, yes. So now on these graspers, we put three mutatus extremis. Just right click it, puts it into it like that. Again, I mean, I guess it's getting caught on the on the critter snare, isn't it? And the last one, we put the charged attuned stone. Now, this time, what we need to mutate is not a zombie; it's actually a dog. Now, I've got some or a wolf. I've got some dogs. They were being spawned in here. You remember at the very beginning of the game? We got a a, a single-use safari net with a dog in it. There's a dog. Look. I think a dog will do. We shall see. It might, it might not be suitable. And I come in here, and this time I want to put the dog. I might not have made this far enough back again. Let's get the snare, and the, that's it. Okay. Put the dog in here. Do that. Got to get to this cobweb. There. Now I've got the closer door, and I've got four owls, one for each bat. That was a challenge. Now we have to tame the bat, uh, tame the owls. So what we do is we right-click them with some pork. That's loving me. That means it's tamed. That one's loving me. It's tamed. The graspers don't don't disappear. This, this one hasn't. And nope, failed on that one. And that one. So they're all tamed now. When they're tamed, you can make them sit. Simply right-click them, and their feet change position to being standing. Now they won't fly away. And that's it. That's how you make tamed owls. Well, it's quite a challenge. It took a while to do. Um, the next thing we're going to have to do is to do a dragon heart. It's quite a, it's quite a, so we have to do a rite of summoning and we have to get prepared for that as well. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye for now.